get your muscle belly. And then you have a window here that you can see the pedicle, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're gonna put one of those long straps coming underneath and it's gonna exit right here. Okay. okay. Now, what you have on top of it is the compartment of the ladder, ladder compartment. If, if I go too fast, you stop me. So you cannot see, you run no muscle work. You have to see it now. You cannot go into this border because there's gonna be perforators coming into that muscle, into the fibula. You're gonna be septal perforated. So you're gonna go midline, like you're gonna dissect the problem is probably fine. You follow me? Yeah. You're gonna go and take the, the, the fascia over the compartment, and it's gonna be reflected this way and this way. So when it goes up, I'm gonna create like a window here, like this, and I'm gonna create a window, like this, like a window. Mm -hmm. What exactly are you gonna see right here? That's right. Mm -hmm. So we need to protect it, okay? What are we gonna be seeing coming right here in the border of the fibula? The, uh, the DPN. Yeah. So you have those two structures that you have to look and protect because we don't want to do a free fibula and now you have a drop foot. Okay? I'm giving you step by step of multiple times me reading function wide dissection. I think function wide dissection for this, in my opinion, is the easiest for me to understand. There's all the ones, the one of Scott Levy and others. It variation of the functions does step by step and I like it a lot. <clears throat> so you're gonna protect your SPN and you're gonna run your DPN. Because you are at this level. So the DPN is gonna cross over from lateral over the on, underneath the lateral compartment and it's gonna cross the septum and it's gonna come into the anterior compartment. So when you cut the fibula and you take it out, you can traumatize it. So protect your DPN, your SPN, and protect the pedicle, okay? Once you identify these structures, that's when you're gonna do your cut. And it's gonna be an angle cut. Why? An angle cut, it give you, wherever you're gonna put it, like a peg and hole. Plus also, it's a lot easier to then mobilize the fibula anteriorly and detach flexor hallucis upon rosis from the other flexor tendons, okay? You guys follow me? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's the first time. Okay.